Hello and welcome to Wake Up America. President Obama is attempting to push through the largest trade deal in human history. The Trans-Pacific Partnership, or TPP, will set new rules which we know very little about, regulating the economies of 12 countries, including the United States, Japan, Canada, and Australia. The United States has negotiated the TPP almost entirely in secret with the assistance of 600 paid lobbyists, of which 500 are corporate advisors. Most of what we know about the TPP has been through internet leaks. Basically, by the use of free trade agreements, our leaders and Congress are handing over our nation's wealth to foreign countries like China, but also to multinational corporations. A common concern is that if we sign on to the TPP, corporations will go to extreme lengths to expose entire populations to toxic food products, sacrificing the financial future of nations for short-term gain, destroying the environment, and even supporting war so they can sell more profitable weapons to war-torn countries around the world. The TPP will have its share of new regulations and new rules that will negatively impact us, such as the internet, food safety, access to medicines, climate change policy, workers' rights, financial regulation, service sector regulation, labor and environmental standards, investments, government procurement, patents and copyrights, trade in industrial goods and agriculture. These new regulations are a big deal. They would affect prices, businesses, and people here in America. Yet the administration isn't being transparent about the negotiating process with members of Congress, who should be reviewing international trade agreements. President Obama is negotiating the deal as if he already has been given fast-track trade authority, which empowers the executive branch to not only evade Congress, but also the public by using trade agreements to rewrite policies that affect our day-to-day -day lives. Congress has not given him this authority, and they are not even putting the bill to the floor for a vote. It is believed many in both the House and the Senate are fearful these bills would turn over their authority and might cost many members their seats in the 2014 elections. The real threat here is Congress's loss of sovereignty. Under the U.S. Constitution, Congress is supposed to write the laws and set trade policy. The President has the constitutional authority to make treaties, but Congress is to have a strong hand in trade negotiations. However, using the fast-track mechanism, the President can seize those congressional powers and unilaterally select partner countries for trade pacts before Congress can even vote on the matter. With fast-track, standard congressional committee processes are forbidden which means no reviews or amendments, and both the House and the Senate are required to vote within 90 days of the White House submitting the bill. Congress would literally have no say in the negotiation process, which means the TPP would be forced on the American people with no representation. Congress is kept in the dark while major representatives of corporations are consulted on the details of the agreement. How far has America fallen that corporations are in on the deal, yet our elected lawmakers are not? This administration, which promised to be the most transparent administration ever, is building walls before the eyes of the public and other branches of the government. It's clear how much President Obama cherishes his secrecy. To learn more about the disastrous effects of free trade, log on to economyincrisis.org.